Well, hello and welcome to the final day of competition for the Global Champions League and the launching Global Champions Tour. Just a little reminder there of what we've seen of the season so far, and it's been a scintillating season indeed, but here is where it comes to its conclusion, and so we're looking forward to all of that. So uh, we're going to talk about what's coming up and who better to talk about it with but two members of our leading team, Bertram Allen from Valkensvard United, Harry Smolders from the Hamburg Diamonds, and the lovely Ali Barnes on the end as well, who's been uh, catching all the action with the riders as it's been taking place throughout the year. Ali, we've build, been building for weeks, months to this point. Yeah, we certainly have, and it's great that we've got an exciting <coughs> conclusion with these two teams battling it out. And Bertram reminded me when I spoke to um, him the other day after the first round of the Global Champions League, it was a similar situation last year with Valkensvard yeah. leading, and it didn't go brilliantly then. I know you won, but it, was, um, it wasn't the best day in the office. Y yeah, it like what the Diamonds didn't have perhaps the best day on Thursday. Yeah, it wasn't as fluent as we, we would have liked coming here. We came here with a with a good solid advantage and we expected it to be easy, but we, we made a little bit hard work of it, but it was enough to hang on. Well, we just saw there from the uh, tightness at the top of the table as well as you were talking about that between the two of you. Hamburg just ahead this time. Harry, how are you feeling about today? Because you've got to be eighths or better in terms of teams, but after the other day you were down into 11th place. Yeah, we are behind at the moment, so um, I think we have nothing to lose. Um, we have to. We will need a very good day today, but uh, still two more rounds to come, and I think we have to stay focused on ourselves and uh, and, and uh, be the best. And in terms of partner, Eric Lamars. Yeah, Eric is the same. I think he was a little bit unlucky the first day, but uh, I'm sure he will come back today uh, very strong. Yeah, tough day on the first day. Nine for him, clear for you. Bertram, Alberto Zorzi with you once again. You've been a, a winning combination together this season. How's, uh, how are the two of you feeling about this and how much have you talked about it? Oh, we haven't spoke so much about <laughs> it. <but>, um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we know... What, we know we have to go up. We have nothing to lose. We're, we're guaranteed second, so the best we can hope for is to go out and try and win. Uh, risk it, try everything to, to win. And, and if we win, then we're, we're just going to have to um, see what the others do. But uh, I think it's going to be quite quite a big ask to, 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 to win because I don't think there'll be too many slip-ups from Harry and Eric today. Well, you've got quite. You've still got to get a very good chance in there as the double clears. I mean, watching what's happened and unraveled this year, Ali. I mean, anything could happen. It's been great that there's been two teams that have been consistent, consistently dominant the whole season, um, which makes it a, a great rivalry. You guys have been competing. You've been fighting it out at the top of the leaderboard for a number of events. It hasn't just been a lot of teams winning. How many events has Hamburg won this year? Three, three, I think. three. Yep. and Valkensvard, you've been on the podium. Something similar, yeah. Three. Yep, yeah, there we are then, three each, which has been <laughs> great. And it's good that we've got two dominant teams in the, in the Global Champions League. Well, we're looking forward to how all that's going to unfold. Now, in terms of horses, Bertram, what are you and Alberto going to do today? Yeah, we have the same as, uh, as we had on Thursday, Molly and uh, Fairlight. Uh, Yannick is also here with Bacardi. And he, he jumped unbelievable on Thursday, he was double clear to place fifth, so um, we had the option to take him in, but uh, Jan said we'd, we'd stay, with the, stay with the same team as we had on uh, Thursday and then see how it goes. Staying there with that, there's a few ideas of the horse changes that we've had through the season so far, not so many here in uh, Doha this week, uh, six horse changes here, but as we can see, there are quite a few wearing the uh, European legs in there in Shanti and Valkensard, 15 in all. It's been a, a strategy that's been uh, possible to use all the way through the season as well, and as you can see there, it's been uh, used to good effect at several of the events on the way through. Uh, Harry, from your point of view, a strategy like that, how much have you used that this year? How much of a benefit has that been to you? Uh, we, we used it a little bit uh, in the middle of the season. Well, uh, we had done many shows in a row. Um, uh, I remembered, I think we had four globals uh, week after week, and uh, then we felt on the horses we had to swap a little bit. Well, Harry, we're going to have a look at a few of the stats as well between you and Alberto Zorzi, because you've been two of the best performances that we've seen all the way through. This was up to this week. So uh, you out of uh, those 19 rounds, 13 of them clear, and uh, Alberto Zorzi just, well, similar sort of thing, 15, uh, 15 clears out of 24 rounds. But at consistency, again, proving the key, which is why the two teams here are up where they are, Harry. Yeah, I think... Um 
also if you see uh, on Thursday Alberto's horse and, uh, and Bertram's I think they are in a very good shape um, <coughs> they are very consistent they very dedicated uh, the way they ride and uh, I think you, you will see that uh, through the whole season they are really focused on the team uh, they don't go for an individual result in this class and uh, that's why I think both teams are at the top of the leaderboard and in terms of, we just saw the, the percentages of those clears in there. I mean, Ali, from what we've seen, I mean, these guys, we've seen Don coming out, we've seen the, the horses that Alberto's been riding. I mean, it's just been unbelievable at that level. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Don has been a superstar all season. Um, interesting decision by so many of the riders to pull out of the, uh, the jump off on Thursday night. Even though there was a day yesterday, a day spare, you didn't jump the jump off. A lot of riders didn't just really, it, how important the, the Global Champions League is to have them fresh. Yeah, and also I think uh, for my horse with the with the weather change also f coming from Europe way warmer here, um, I, g I I want to give him as much as recuperation time as uh, it was possible, um, and hopefully it will pay out today. And <coughs> and for you, Bertram, I mean coming in, you you're on that wonderful old campaigner of yours, Molly Malone, that you're doing inside out. What difference does that make? Yeah. Um, I know her inside out. She she loves it here in Doha. She's been here a few times, and uh, yeah, for me not to ride on on Thursday night w wouldn't be usual for me. Normally, she'd be quite fast, but you know, to try and win the league, it was a even if it just gave me a ten percent advantage today, maybe that's all we needed. So. Um, Hopefully it turns out to be the right decision. Well, we'll see how it comes out. Mexico Amigos, of course, are uh, in there as well as the uh, team that lead the way going into this uh, second round here in Doha. They're a team that currently sit fifth in the championship. They're vying for a podium place as well, as are several other teams in there. San Tropez Pirates, Miami Glory amongst those two. So it's going to be an exciting afternoon of sport that we're looking forward to. Global Champions League is uh, going to be first of what we're seeing. And uh, just seeing a few of the rounds there of Evelina Tokyo who uh, again produced the goods for the Mexico Amigos. Christian Alman is going to step in for the team today. They're going to have a little bit of a, a rider change as well, which is going to be uh, very, very interesting. But may the best team win is all we can say. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good luck to them. Ali, you're going to be catching up with them all on the ground, aren't you, as well? Yep, going to be catching up on the ground and having a look at the, the course with Steve Hadley in just a moment. Perfect. We're looking forward to uh, all of that.